Okay, not really sure why, but I guess that'll become self-evident. But I had to take these bolts out of the end here, this connecting rod, and that's probably so I can take this arm off here. And same on the other side, there'll be one over there too. And the hydrostatic, uh, or the three-point hitch lift, it says take it off of this side, and I think that's because it probably interferes with this arm here in getting this off. So I took that off, and of course the inside here was all rusty. So I, I had a heck of a time. I used a, a brass rod. It's probably one of the best investments you can do if you can get one of <coughs> good quality. I've had this one for years. And I, I beat the heck out of that end, and I had this all tapered now. That's all mushroom now after what I just finished doing. But anyway, I got it behind in here on this angle and I pounded on it. But they do have a spot here for banging. And this thing will move back and forth quite a long ways. Now I don't understand what that's for, but there is a there is a relief and I don't know if I should pull that out or not. I pulled it out further earlier. I'm not going to because it's connected to something. But there's an O-ring in here in the end. And the same on the other side. So all that again is all rusty so I'll make sure I put a good coating of grease on when I put it back together so if I ever need to take it apart again, it should just fall apart. Like I say, everything is lightly greased and, you know, seven years it's uh, all rusting and we're in a very humid climate here, so. And I'm thinking this thing here must be a vent. I haven't figured that out yet. Kind of, I don't know, moves. I first thought maybe it was some kind of pressure relief button, but I don't know. Maybe I didn't read my manual. So the next thing it says to do is take this arm off. Now I did uh, come in here and I disconnected this thing from the arm. There was, this goes to that, this is part of the lifting system here. And comes back up and connects to the lifting bracket arm over here. So I had to take this off and had one of those fancy dancy little pin things in there. As you notice, I put as many nuts and bolts and fittings and pieces back as I can because then I know I'm going to find it. And rather than doing a big cluster bunch, now I don't know if I have to take these handles and stuff off. But apparently I'm getting to a point where I have to start undoing big bolts here, I guess. I'll probably wait till tomorrow because it is 7.30 tonight. And I'm tired. I've been up since 5. And I guess this extends all the way, because that's welded, all the way here to these bolts here. So, again, that's where I need that big nutcracker. Three quarter inch drive. Now, it does pay to have good tools. And I have a lifetime collection of them, so this uh, may not be a job for the faint of heart if you haven't got uh, tools. I have also an air compressor and I have an electric impact gun. I do have an air one, but this one works. It's good enough so far. And maybe an impact gun would take those bolts out without any problem. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. It's only a light duty impact, so. But I have a big breaker bar in three quarter inch. And uh, same on this side. So we've got, well this, this here is another part that has to come off, this drop hitch thing. So that is, I don't know, it's all tied together here. It all comes down and bolts everywhere. Well that one's not there. So this will have to come off there and that's, so I can get access to those bolts there, I guess. I'm fluttering around with the camera. Sorry about that. Again, they say edit it out, right? So, I don't know. Anyway, you can undo those two bolts, which takes that bracket out. It gives me access to those bolts, which is what's probably holding this transmission differential all together. And I think it's the passenger side here that I will have to take apart. This probably isn't a very good picture. It's getting dark. But there's bolts there and this whole section comes out. 
and should give me access to the uh, differential lock even though the lever's on the driver's side this side comes off I don't think that side comes off so it, I think the case splits right there oh there's some kind of number thing going on there